All right, so I've been asked to do an insert uh, for uh, my um, quest for the lost pixel. So I am putting together um, the uh, insert pieces for the different cards and tokens, um, and then I put together a larger insert um, for the box, which is going to lift the lid, and um, it's going to look um, something like this. I think you've seen some other um, or the other posts that I've done on Quest for the Lost Pixel um, insert. And um, so someone was um, asking if I would put together a little video on how I make uh, uh, some of these card holders and the different um, inserts. Um, you know, when I first started, I was using um, foam core. And since I switched to chipboard, I don't think I'll ever go back. Um, it's very sturdy and um, very strong and it saves a ton of space in the box. Um, and uh, way more than the uh, foam core. Um, so anyway, I thought what I would do is just kind of show you um, uh, the build on this little um, card holder here. And uh, so this is for the um, ninth floor treasure monsters, 10th floor uh, treasure monsters as well. With the lost pixel in there. Um, and uh, so I've already determined the size of the board that I want to make. Um, roughly, this one is five and three eighths by seven and three eighths ish um, kind of uh, measurement. And um, so what I do is then I determine how deep do I want to make it, right? So this one, um, each of these boards ended up being about three quarters inch long. Um, my ruler has an eighth inch built in, so maybe seven eighths is really what this comes out to be. <laughs> but it'll fit all the cards um, in there. All right, and so what I'll do is after I get the board cut and then I cut my pieces, um, now it's time to sort of measure out and uh, make sure that my walls are going to um, be the right measurement. So I just lay these down here and I measure each side um, to itself, right? Um, and because I am doing this all by hand, sometimes the cuts aren't exactly square. Um, to the eye, everything looks square. Um, but um, uh, so I measure each side independently. Uh, now for these cuts, I always use scissors instead of my knife. Because uh, once you get the cut start, if you just finish the cut, you'll get a nice straight edge like that. Um, and then just dry uh, fit it. Um, looks good there. And so then I'll grab the next piece and um, we will make a uh, measurement on this side, like so. And then um, once you can create your tabs, then you just cut. Connect the dots, like so, um, and there we are. All right, so uh, next thing I do, um, my favorite glue is Gorilla Wood glue. Love this stuff, um, and especially working with chipboard, it really does adhere um, the pieces together um, very quickly, and but still gives you enough time to sort of move things, wiggle them around, etc. Um, the other thing that I do is prepare sort of a glue slide, because when I glue these pieces together, it's gonna ooze a little bit, and that's, that's fine. Uh, but then I'll use the, this piece here to sort of get in there and clean out um, any ooze like that, right? And then make sure I have a paper towel ready as well um, to do some wiping um, with that. So here, let's see how this goes. All right, so here we go. Um, we want it before it oozes too much. Just wipe it off. Uh, see, see what I'm talking about right here? Uh, but you can wipe it up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just like that. And so what you're end up, gonna end up with is a nice bead of glue on there. And then, you're gonna adhere it. this just a smidge, make sure everything is square. Um, also one of the other things that I do is I have a glass um, cover over my desk. I can get glue all over this thing, cleans right up, and um, great for working with hot glue as well because I can even make templates right on it and then peel it right up. Um, but there you go. So uh, once you get it glued, 
you hold it down, if you want to give it like a 10 to 15 count, 10 to 15 seconds, um, it is in there. All right, so now you can see the ooze here I was talking about. I can just come through here like so. Clean up any ooze like that. And voila, one edge is up. And so nice thing about this glue is because the way that it dries, especially working with chipboard, um, it's solid. So now we can go back through and do the other side. See if I can apply glue to this one a little bit better. There we go. And then I always run my finger across it just to take off some of that excess. So I was talking about here too is that sometimes it's a little wily, doesn't want to quite go on there. And there we go. Clean up any drippage. Some more pressure to some areas that look like they need a little more pressure. There you go. All right, now we'll clean up the inside. Like so. All right, <clears throat> next part is getting the um, edges um, and so if you hold these as straight as you can just kind of eye it um, it ought to be pretty good when you insert um, the other pieces so what I do in order to get this look here is I will first make a complete box um, and then we'll put in the interior pieces like so and cut out the card accesses all right so this is going to go in here to really measure this side Flip it over. Uh, all right. So for this one, I apply the glue along all of these edges here. All right. And everything looks square here. Let's make sure we've got it. Apply some more pressure if it doesn't like it sticking. This glue just needs a few seconds really to in order to adhere it correctly. All right, and come through here. And once your little glue cleaner gets a little dull, just clip off the end. All right, okay. Uh, now we're gonna do number two. Here's what we're going to do on this one. 
it dawned on me that um, I had <laughs> designed this to um, fit on top of the um, on top of the board, and um, it is not. Uh, this one I put on the end, but um, it looks okay, right? Well, we were able to match that up. This one we're gonna go ahead and cut. See how that fits in there? Oh yeah. There we go. All right, so now, So it's just the other thing I love about this stuff is it's forgiving and um, happy little mistakes. One of my favorite painters used to say. All right, here we go. So now we can just insert this bad boy in here. Make sure we're on the edges. So that's the first part right in here, and um, and then once this dries, we're going to give it a good 24 hours for all the glue to uh, cure, and then what we can do is paint it um, to give it a nice finish. The paint will also really um, cinch it up. It's almost uh, um, like tightening the screws um, on the buildings. You have that spray paint and everything just kind of congeals together, so it works really well. All right, so here we go. So there's that part. Okay, and then the next piece we're going to do, because our cards are going to be going in here, and you can always take your cards, do a little dry fit to see what kind of sizing you have going on here. And um, so we're just going to grab four cards so you can see. So right here we go. All right, so what we have is um, from here to here, right? We want this to fit in there. And so we're going to make sure that we... Measure this interior side in here. Oh man, we're almost there. So we just need to trim off a very fine smidgen. And we want it to kind of be a little tight without bowing, right? So, and give it a little um, tension so that this can be in here like so. So, and we can work this out right in here like so. All right, I like that. So what I do is try to, I usually eyeball this, right? So we just take a look at this here. This looks really good right now. So we're going to just make a mark here. And now we can take our cards out of there. And then apply our glue. this looks straight for us there we go and then just apply a good pressure all over uh, all along the ends here um, which helps pull the board tight as well and then that pressure um, there perfect 
Okay. So now we're gonna. It's okay to have a little bit of oozy when it dries. It's fairly transparent, and you're gonna cover that up anyway when you paint it, mostly. So um, there you go. So the main support is there, right? And so now what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna do our crossbar, and then we'll cut out our um, card accesses. And I'll do that. And so what I'm going to do is you put this in here and you just apply just a slight pressure um, and then just draw a line on the inside edge there. All right, and we want it to make contact but not push too much, right? So we got that one. See where we want to have this bad boy. Just going to line it up and we'll do a nice dry fit here. And ooh, oh, that's uh, that's pretty good. Um, right there. All right, and then the only other thing to be concerned about is this bottom flange piece, right? Make sure that it's straight up and down before we glue and stuff. All right, so now, yeah, we like it. Right. So we're going to mark it. Yeah, we should be able to take that part out. And we can just glue. Nice thin line of glue on there. Um, also keeps the ooze down just a smidgen. Insert it straight down. Put glue away so I can see the lines. Perpendicular. <laughs> both sides together, add that pressure, keep the middle going. You see what I'm talking about? So even though it's nice and sturdy, you can still sort of adjust things and move things around as you need to, um, slightly. Yeah, yeah, all right, I think that's working out. So um, what I use usually for this here, typically, I'll make sure I clean this up, is um, an extra piece here and roughly the size of a finger's 
what I kind of use here. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll just put this on here like so, right in the middle, and draw a line and on all four sides. We'll do that. There we go. All right, and so this part, what we do is just a simple slice straight down. And I try to keep the sawing motion minimally. And then once, because the, this has been glued already, so now we just need to cut this a little bit right in here. This particular end piece is on the outside. So one other thing that we need to do here is just put our knife and cut those pieces, give them a little more help on the end here. And we can clean this up right here. Voila, this sucker is ready. So um, this will let you pick the whole thing up like so. And um, here is what it looks like. So let's just give it an old test fit. So and these things are pretty much ready to go um, really quick. So one down. So we like this cure for like 24 hours, then we can paint it and we'll end up with something like this. Here you go. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, not the perfect build, but that's perfect crafting. <laughs> that's the way it works. Let me know what you think. Love to hear uh, your thoughts and like to see your builds on this.